is the Tad Show. And the thing is, what fans don't realize, okay, mm -hmm. and I've talked about this before, is that this wrestling industry is not a team sport. Each guy, and I'm not, I'm not against union at all. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. In, in the wrestling business, uh, but the the wrestling industry and rosters and all these companies. It's a, you're an independent contractor, and the word independent is not talked about enough because you you you're not a team. You 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 own a business when you're a pro wrestler, and that business is you and your body of work, your gimmick, your character, all that. And it's you. It's not about a team. It's not about six of us. All this, all this rah rah stuff. That's not how this goes, dude. So that's the other reason. There's no unity. Uh, in that regard, there's a unity when an outside force like a Conor McGregor insults a, a whole bunch of wrestlers. Then we're going to unify and tell you F you. There's a unity when fans show disrespect or something like that off a fan or whatever or so, a journalist or whatever. Yeah, then there's a unity. But when it comes to behind the scenes and about making money and feeding your family, frankly, there's not a lot of unity. And, and I understand that. And I lived it and I made a living doing it. So I get it. I do. Right. You know, it's just it's just a shame that there isn't because if you as a performer are investing in yourself, you know, you guys, the boys, the girls, they should gather together and invest in themselves too and yes. and build that stuff. You yep. know what I mean? The yep. hell, the hell with with rules and yeah, and the hell with um, yeah the past. You know what I mean? Let's yeah. let's create and let's create that crap. You know what I mean? I can't. I can't say certain words. But, no, no, you know, I hear, but I mean, LB, but LB, you, no, yeah, I know you. I can tell you, and that's why I'm keeping you on this call here. And yeah. and you're, you're right, and I I appreciate what you're saying. And and here's the thing, though, dude, you know, you got to understand, you got a bunch of people that are making strong, high-powered six figures, some making seven figures. Yes, sir. That are not gonna on a then. Let me rephrase that. That will not want to upset the apple cart. They don't want right. to get bad heat with the office. They don't want that. They are not going to be part of that. And and if you don't have those high-level guys involved, um, it's going to hurt you to really build a strong union. I don't think it will ever happen. I just don't think it will ever happen. I think many years ago, Jesse, the body of Ventura, tried to start something like this, I believe. I, I just don't think it will ever happen. And, LB, thank you for calling, and I, and I appreciate your passion for that. Um, you know, and, and, and it's a topic he's right that a lot of people do not talk about. He's exactly yeah. right. I think it was in sometime in the eighties that Jesse Ventura tried. Yeah, I think you're right. And I, I, you know, I know that I talked about it a while ago, right? Not too long ago, I believe. Yeah, a, a couple on different shows. Yeah, fairly recently. I might be one of the only podcasters that have done that. Because, as you know, I'm a podcaster. <laughs> yeah.